Good day, good love and good light, everybody. And thank you for joining us today for the Saturday Human Colony Hukalo for short webinar. And it is a pleasure. Uh, yeah. Yeah, see. Oh, we gotta, gotta bye, mute somebody. Bye. Gotta mute yeah, somebody. See. Bye. <laughs> Sorry about that, guys. <laughs> um, thank you for joining us today for our, our Saturday webinar. And I'm very excited today. I've got a few announcements to make before I introduce our, our wonderful <laughs> channeler today, Will Mitchell uh, with Ricky with Will. So I just wanted to welcome everyone today and to... Um, uh, well, as I was to say, this is the first time I've ever been on this side of the hosting side. I'm usually I'm usually on the other side. So I will say this is the first time for me. So I'm a little bit nervous. So bear with me today, you guys. I'm Wendy. Um, I'm a long time and actually founding member, if you will, <laughs> of Human Colony. And it was through Human Colony that not only did I begin speaking galactic light languages, but that I met these wonderful people, Jim and Max and Will and my own galactic families. Um, so I just wanted to throw that out there for anybody who wasn't familiar with who I am. Um, it's, boy, it, it's been, wow, I wanna say, I think a little over four years now, I think. Uh, I was trying to remember since I actually met everyone and started speaking languages. So um, I just wanted to start with that and say, um, it's been just a joy and a pleasure to know and meet all of you. And I'd like to begin by um, before we be, before we begin um, the uh, channeling and uh, introducing Will, um, I wanted to make a couple of announcements. Uh, we are having the Galactic Reiki class tonight. Uh, Jim is is holding it to Kerr, um, our Lyran, <laughs> our Lyran friend will be um, channeling that uh, Reiki class tonight. Reiki class one and two, and that will be on tonight on the 7th and the 8th at 6.30 to 9.30 p.m. Eastern uh, Daylight Time, I guess it is, Eastern Standard Time. And uh, it's a three-hour class tonight and three hours tomorrow. It's $100 for the two days. Very exciting. I'm going to be attending the class as well. And um, so there are still openings. If you'd like to join the class tonight, there's still time. Please visit uh, uh, hukalo.org and click on the Reiki class button and just um, sign up right there. And the next announcement I wanted to make was for the next Ascension workshop. That one's coming up in Dansville, New York, and that's going to be uh, during August 6th. Uh, wait, is that 16th or 6th? 16th. 16th. Okay, I wrote down the number wrong. 16th through the 21st. And um, that is going to be held, uh, hosted by Jim and Max. And so that's going to be another very exciting thing. If I'm hoping to get up there myself if I can. So that's going to be really exciting. Um, so if you want to sign up for the workshop, um, also go to the human colony, the hukalo.org, and you can sign up through there. And so um, we've had several workshops. Um, I've had the pleasure of attending uh, one with. Um, Jim and Will and meeting so many of you. So there's nothing like it. There really is nothing like being together and especially being with Jim and channeling. It's really, it's, it's a divine pleasure. So, um, and I also am excited to announce um, the new book. I got my copy and you know, I wasn't kidding. I actually was hoping I could somehow get an autographed copy. So I'll have to visit you guys in person so I can get my copy. So this is the new book um, that Jim and Max wrote and from the galaxy with love, a light workers textbook by Max Rempel, PhD and Jim James E. Charles. And there's their photos on the back. So I'm really excited. Um, and I just wanted to quick, the textbook topics for this book are Pleiadians, Lyrans, Arturians, Yael, Origins of Humanity, Star Seeds, Hybrid Children, Galactic History, Atlantis, Angels, Spirit Guides, Energy Healing, Higher Self, Reincarnation, Telepathy, Disclosure, and Open Contact. <laughs> so there's a lot covered in here, guys, and I'm actually really excited to read it. I just got it yesterday. So um, really excited about that. Thank you so much. And uh Thank you, Jim and Max, for all the wonderful work that you do. I'm just, I can't tell you how how, how wonderful it is um, to be a part of all of this. And the if you'd like to help support the channel, 
and the webinars, the uh, to help you know, pay for the hosting of these websites and to keep up the, uh, you know, all of the work that goes on behind the scenes. Um, there's, we're always offering, please accepting donations and the paid webinars, if you uh, would like to be a part of the um, Human Colony Club, if you will, that's for when Jim is channeling to help support and to be a part of it and to be able to ask questions and to be in the room with Jim. And it's just $10 a month. And so that that ensures you have a seat in the, in the class, in the room here with all of us. And, um, and also I wanted to remind everybody that, you know, sometimes I think we forget how many wonderful entities that Jim brings through for us every week. And I sometimes think that we often take it, take it for granted when he says, oh, who do you want to bring in? And it's just like anybody. So I wanted to show not only my appreciation, but I wanted to remind everybody to show your appreciation also in supporting Jim and in supporting him with uh, with private sessions. So you can reach him through the human colony uh, hookalo.org um, website as well for to book a private session with him. I've had the pleasure of having them myself and I can tell you they are definitely life changing, life changing experiences. So I did want to mention that as well. And if you are up in uh, Rochester, New York, he's also a Reiki, <laughs> Reiki master teacher and practitioner. So yeah, if you're up in his neck of the woods, please do visit him. And uh, so I just wanted to, oh, and I'm also, I also have a, um, if you go into the uh, private sessions, I have a button on there myself. Um, so you can reach me through, uh, for private sessions as well, or through languagesoflights.com. And actually now, I <laughs> I think that's it for any other announcements. Did I cover everything, uh, Jim, before I turn it over to um, Will as far as uh, his announcements and... <laughs> Oh, you covered all mine. Yay. Okay, good. Uh, Bill has some announcements of his own. Yes. And so I wanted to now take this moment to to introduce Will and to say what a pleasure it is for, for me to be on this side with him and him hosting a, a channeling for us today for the Human Colony webinar. As usually you see him beside, behind Jim um, holding the sacred space. And so this is going to be very nice uh, for all of us to, uh, for, for all of us to enjoy <laughs> this, this uh, interaction. So I wanted to make sure I was looking for my notes here. Sorry, Will. <laughs> I wanted to make sure that I got the information correctly because actually what I didn't realize, or I think I knew, but I forgot that, um, that Will is a reverend. And so I wanted to really give him the, the honor of introducing him as the Reverend Will Mitchell in the priest in the order of Melchizedek, ambassador of Aquarian fire, Reiki master teacher. And I would also like to say that it was because of Will and Jim that I became <sighs> illuminated um, and uh, a, a Reiki, uh, excuse me, a, an Aquarian fire uh, master teacher myself. And that was one of the blessings that I received when I uh, went to the the Beyond Belief retreat in, in Arkansas and I got to meet them. And so it was a beautiful day and I got to meet so many of you. So without further ado, I'd like to introduce Will and um, I know he's got a couple of announcements of some things that we've got coming up as well. So thank you, Will, I love you and here we go. <laughs> thank you so much, Wendy. Uh, and yes, we will do blessings too. We'll do blessings. <laughs> Light language just flows. It is, uh, thank you for sharing my highest bliss. Um, yes, we have some interesting announcements. Um, Wendy and I, we would like to invite you to join us uh, for Awakening Angels class next Saturday, April 14th, 414. Spirit gave us that date. This is like cool. At 4 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time for about three hours and $111, um, we'll be channeling, speaking light language. And so, Email me, reikiwithwill at gmail.com to uh, get more information or arrange a payment. That's it's going to be a really exciting class. And <clears throat> on April 29th, Wendy, 
me, Will, and Jim will be putting on a white magic class. Um, we're each getting a piece and uh, we're excited to present it and it'll be about three hours on, on that day. And Spirit says 3 p.m. Does that work, Jim? That's fine. 3 p.m. on Sunday, April 29th, white magic. Again, email reikiwithwill at gmail.com. Aquarian Fire One class. If you feel interested or called to Aquarian Fire, um, Aquarian Fire One will do a, a three hour class on Saturday, May 12th for $111. Again, email me. And <laughs> we're doing a Lemurian light workshop. On, uh, on the sacred mountains in the Pacific Northwest. Um, Jim's coming along for Mount Rainier and Mount Hood. Starting on uh, May 26th, Saturday, May 26th through Sunday, June 10th. But you can come for any one mountain for $111 per, or you can come for the whole thing. <coughs> You're coming for Mount Rainier, and Angie's coming for Mount Rainier. On uh, Memorial Day weekend, it's, it's it's just it's it's an exciting time. We'll be connecting with Lemurian energy and uh, five sacred mountains. And we're starting out on Mount Rainier, which is which they tell me is Takube, and it's the mother of the waters. Um, really, really interesting. And save the date. We're going to Peru and Machu Picchu. Um, September 24th through October 5th, Aguas Calientes, um, Machu Picchu, Sacred Valley, Cusco, Puno, the Stargate at Puno, and Lake Titicaca. It's going to be epic. We're doing some uh, pretty cool things. So we would love for you to join us for any one of them or all of them. Wow, Will, that's quite an art. Wow, that's quite an itinerary. You, you, you really have been guided by spirit, haven't you? <laughs> yeah, it's, it's everything that they're telling me, this is what? What? <laughs> oh, with pleasure. That's very exciting. Oh my gosh. That's wonderful. Well, I wanted to also um, thank you, Will, once uh, once again for being here. And I wanted to introduce everyone who's here in the room, if I could. And then we will begin with some um, illuminating and frequency raising blessings. And um, we will allow the, uh, the the angel spirits to commence. <laughs> so I'd like to welcome today, I'm just going to go in my the way I see everybody. So Alexis, Christine, Dave, and thank you, Mark. Thank you so much for helping out today and being our, our technical uh, advisor today. So I very much appreciate your help, honey. <laughs> Ian and James, of course, and JD, hi, good to see you, and Marlene, and Tammy, my buddy Tammy, and me, Wendy, <laughs> with Languages of Lights. So um, I think what I'll do is I'll open it up. Is there anybody uh, who'd like to give us a, a blessing right away, um, galactic or otherwise? And um, you can either just I unmute. Always. <laughs> okay. Yeah, go right ahead. Go right ahead. Start us off. Ramia Lakas. Kutu shumana ki aria manasko ashikita lo amaya kuskapiana kuskatia mania baskiata rumalaya kiato runosu kushkumata ki askiarana kaskata mian kaskira mana yakas kutu kushkumakati prira kaskatia mana kaskia marianka turan kaskianka tuskumaya kaskia. Keep your mind wide open today, for there is a lot of light that you may absorb. There is a lot of information that may be helpful to you in the near future and in your path and on your missions. Remember, you can find light in many wonderful places, and some of it you will 
treasure forever. Remember to keep yourself pure and safe as we move forward because love and light and blessings are on their way, but you must be surrounded by the positive and most beautiful things. That was That's beautiful. It. Thank you so much. That was wonderful. Would anybody else like to give a blessing? You can just unmute and start speaking. Otherwise, I will give a blessing and we will move on. And I wanted to also welcome our new our new people into the room and i also wanted to say hi to everybody out there watching on youtube thank you so much so the sole la kelo lo rashane la mia lo kuya la selo tojra mahala namaste as the angels speak they have become more involved in including themselves in the communication to earth and the people thereof there is much they can do to help you with your missions there is much they can do to help you move yourself along Listen to the angels, call upon them, for they are near, and they are listening, and they are ready to help you whenever you need this help. Amen. Thank you, Jim. Done? Okay. Anybody else? Anybody in the room there with you guys? Yeah. Oh. Go ahead. I have returned. Will you introduce everybody in the room first? Oh. oh, I'm so sorry. Please do. I'm so sorry. <laughs> well, there's me and Angie and Mark and Jamie and Will. <laughs> All right. Thank you. <laughs> My apologies. <laughs> no problem. Angie's going to do a blessing. Excellent. Atu amania asasati samania tata to ua kashushua nini asakati ashushuni atati asasania wakani asananua yakana sese ananua ayayenena wakani atasatu ashushunia ananiaka. There is no greater protection than putting your faith in God and letting Him be everything to you. So reach out and secure your protection, your security, your light, your love, and your pathway. His light is upon you. His love is there, and it cannot be denied. Excellent. Excellent. All right. Yeah, so Will is coming back. Beautiful, Angie. Thank you. And thank you all for being here and your beautiful and lending your beautiful energy and holding this sacred space with all of us. Awesomeness. So as a part of my process, um, I'll speak some light language to uh, raise my vibration and uh, invite in. So, but first, to ho shishaya na ayakawata ana achi, to o shishikoya sasuko o shishikoya sasuso. I invite and allow the holy fire to flow in through and around us all in every way and everywhere and everyone. Nihi ta tawa chishisha, i kihuana achita, ta i kunanoho radawar tati, saka o shishawa avashishi. For God is with you always. Find strength.
Shabbat Shalom. Assalamu alaikum. Peace be with you. I am Zadkiel. Welcome, Zadkiel. And today, I've come to talk about peace. When God created the heavens and the earth, Nayi, He separated the waters from the heaven and the earth. He separated with what some have called firmament or the great expanse. This is space. When we look within, we are experiencing that peace and we are creating that space within us. For God, for our alignment with God, with alignment with with the essence of God. Each time you breathe, you are creating that space. You are creating that space for the peace. And when you allow that peace to fill your heart, everything that troubles you just falls by the wayside. This is the strength and the power of God. This peace is always with you. You can allow this peace to be your strength. And with this peace, all of the graces from God will flow through. in a righteous manner. So now I'd like to talk about righteousness. For my name means the righteousness of God. What is Righteousness. Some believe that righteousness is I am right and I know I am right. If you think of righteousness more of alignment and your joy and the peace will let you know when you are in alignment with God. 
that is the easiest explanation for righteousness. For when you sit in the peace and in alignment with God, the true love comes forth. The true love that is necessary to present it right now. And there's a we in that. Although I am in alignment is a statement. It's a feeling. The other half of that is allowing it to come forth, allowing it to be, allowing it to become. For righteousness is living. It's a living thing, just like the love of God. And you allowing that to come forth. Allowing it to come forth. Is the we. Are there any questions? What is the easiest way for us to access this inner peace, this when we're really dealing with everyday stuff that we feel is overwhelming? How is it in that moment we can reach that place of peace? Breathing. By breathing. By focusing upon the breath, we can feel more comfort and more ease. Humans like to practice meditation and prayer. And the key word there is practice. By practicing going within, by practicing the ease, by allowing the ease and the peace, it becomes more natural. So that in those difficult situations, it is easier to know that God is with you. It is easier to find the peace. It is easier to allow the peace to come forth. And by allowing the peace to come forth from your heart, more peace comes into you and through you. You understand? Yes, yes, very much so. Thank you. For God is with you always. And simply asking that peace to come forth is the first step. Whether you use the term God or peace or love or contentment, for God has many names.
For God created everything. And God only created light, which is the love. So when you look around, everything in your awareness is a creation of God. Everything. Whether you are judging it right or you are judging it wrong. <clears throat> and God created everything in his own image. So everything you see is a reflection of God. Is an aspect of God and deserves the reverence of God. If you allow yourself to see it, but God is not judgmental. And is granted up everyone and everything free will. And free will is the ultimate respect of your divinity. God knows you can do it. God has complete faith in you. That is what free will is all about. God's complete faith in you. You understand? Yes, thank you very much. And as the archangel of with the of the idea of carrying the idea of freedom and um mercy if you will I, I the the idea that came to me was um that we often are not at peace with ourselves as humans because we can't seem to find our own mercy for ourselves where we can't seem to find our own self love our own self kindness um and which causes a, a lack of inner peace um I, I feel for many of us humans and um I find even myself, uh, when I find myself comparing myself to others, for example, um, it, it, I feel the lack of peace within me because then I feel as if that I'm, that I'm less than another or that I'm not enough somehow. And I think that many of us struggle with that idea here. And maybe, is there some, is there some, perspective that you can give for us on how we could perhaps better handle that when we're feeling as if we're not equal, um, that we don't have the mercy on ourselves, that we don't forgive ourselves. Um, I think self-forgiveness is something that we all, one of the things that creates such a lack of peace within ourselves as humans. And I was wondering if you could uh, share a perspective about that. Know that you are here and now. Know that you are divine. By allowing that peace in you in any moment, the judgment falls away. The judgment comes from expectations or seeing value at different levels. 
Everything you do and everything you have done is divine. It is the idea that it is not divine that causes that judgment. It is an idea that you are not aligned with God. It's the idea that you are not righteous. It is a disconnect from your belief systems, from what your heart knows is true. But allowing that peace to come forth, to come into you, and to go forth into the rest of your awareness. is the easiest way to return to alignment with God. Before you incarnated into this life, you made an agreement with God <coughs> as to what you wish to experience and accomplish. The judgment simply is. You do not need to give weight <coughs> to the judgment. Instead, can you give yourself permission to feel the peace no matter what has happened? God is not judging you. God is accepting you with open arms for whatever you do, whatever you did. The peace of God <coughs> The peace of God can cleanse you if you allow it. The peace of God can bring you back into alignment if you allow it. Does that answer your question? Yes, it does. Thank you very much. <coughs> I do have a couple of questions from our viewers um, that I was wondering if you would um, be open to answering. Um, one of them had to do with the role of Sasquatch on the planet, so I wasn't sure if that was an appropriate question. <coughs> I do not think that it's relevant for This particular topic, but know that Sasquatch is a creation of God. Are there other questions? And this question, it really could be specific as well as perhaps you could address this in general to many of us who are becoming more aware of our, perhaps our angelic nature or our connections to the higher realms. Um, the question was about during waking moments in their bedroom when, when they or we are seeing white energy fig figures. Um, do you know who would be trying to communicate with, uh, this is from BASCOMS um, in particular, and if not, could you, or, or if you prefer in a more general sense um, to comment on that when we are seeing these types of beings and the types of communications um, that they're offering.
as humans begin to wake, as they change their vibration from their sleeping pattern to their waking pattern, it is easier to see You can set your intention to allow that sight to happen while you are waking, while you are awake. Each of you has your own mission. Each of you has your own vibration when you decided to incarnate. Some have come just to experience. Some have come to resolve past life issues. Some have come to be light bringers and way showers. Any vision with the white light, there are many who come through the white light. There are angels, there are Lemurians, there are Atlanteans. Many are relevant for you at this time in the ascension. For this particular individual, there are many angels and many ascended masters wishing to communicate. Be easy on yourself. The peace allows the communication. Are there other questions? I don't see any other questions right now. Are there any questions um, from anyone in the room at this time? Okay, I'm not, not hearing anything. Excellent. Is there anything else that you'd like to share with us today? Um, <coughs> I guess with respect in general to knowing thyself, the the journey that we're all on, I believe here, I feel really for all of us, as, as we've known from many writings, that the reason we do anything is just to simply know ourselves greater, better, and to recognize our divinity within ourselves. And yet... We've come here to um, experience the greatest limitation that there is to experience, which is being separate, feeling separate from source, where so many other civilizations can't even comprehend um, what that's like or what it feels like to even fathom feeling being separate from source. And so maybe... If you could in, maybe leave us with some final words about how do we find peace? Um, how do we better know ourselves? Um, maybe I'm not asking the question right. Um, how do we, be, you know, how can we better know ourselves or or understand how what a great feat it is that we've come here to do to forget being connected to to source and the and the journey that we've been on to remember that that divine connection within ourselves because i believe that's really the reason we came i understand and everyone who will speak today we have conferred and with the vibrations that are here today 
we shall all talk about this very topic from three different perspectives. With the peace and allowing the peace mm -hmm. and looking in and allowing that peace to take over, allowing it to flow through you and permeate your truth shall be apparent. Be easy on yourself. I'm believing that you need to feel the truth or see the truth. Your heart knows the truth. There's another here that shall continue. Thank you. Thank you so much for bringing your, your loving energy, your words of wisdom and <coughs> peace. Thank you. Hello. Oh, hello. Hello. Uh, I would like to ask a question. Uh, this is uh, Paola. Um, my question is uh, I'm dealing with a lot of entities and so. Uh, Many times I get stronger to deal with them, so I get some more and some more and some more, and so I'm overwhelmed with this. So, how can I manage this? How can I find peace if I if I feel very, um, let's say, like I don't know, like a, like a trap? I don't know. It says. Uh, I don't know if this question is proper or no, but. Uh... It is a very good question. Thank you. If you could address that for us. Thank you. Peace be with you. I am Melchizedek. And I shall answer that question. Welcome, Melchizedek. Thank you. That peace is your true nature. Not being able to find that peace is not your truth. Some would call it an illusion, not being able to find the peace about being overwhelmed is exactly what I came to talk about. For my name shares meaning with Zadkiel. Zadkiel is the righteousness of God. His name comes from Sedek. I am Melki Sedek. And Melki is a king. I have been called the righteous king. I was king of a city named Shalom, Salem, Salam. So one might say I am the king of peace. So I would like to talk about kingship, 
being a king, being righteous, and peace. <clears throat> As a king, one's responsibility is to rule, to guide, to teach, to lead. If you can imagine, the king's role can be overwhelming with all the demands of state. How does a king prioritize? How does a king say, this is what we shall focus on. This is what we want. These are the nations we wish to trade with. And what does a king do when there's a warring nation nearby that does not want peace? How does this king deal with it? All these demands. The righteous king is in alignment with God. The righteous king is in alignment with peace. When I was overwhelmed, when the demands were high, I return to prayer and meditation and allowed the peace. And then the choices were clear. And as a king, <coughs> the word we, we is inherent in kingship and rulership and righteousness. The king must look after, after his people. The righteous king is not about me. The righteous king is about we. Melchizedek is also a we. Melchizedek is an energy. Melchizedek is the priesthood. And just like a priest, just like a king, just like an angel. They can all share the same name, Melki. They are all of service to the we. And might I say that you too are a king. Do you not have a crown chakra? As king of your domain, as king of your awareness, your crown illuminates by being aligned with your true nature, with your God, by allowing that energy to come forth from you, from your heart, with love, 
is how you serve the we. By being easy is how we get back in alignment, by allowing that peace. What is the loving thing to do now? With all my decisions for the affairs of state, what will benefit my people? What will bring the most abundance to my people, to our people, to our community, to our land, to our awareness. Become the king of your reality or the queen of your reality. Allow yourself to co-rule with God in your awareness. By making your decisions with love, By serving the all, you serve yourself. For we are all one. We are all creations of God. Does that answer the question? Does that help you? Does it answer your question? Um, and did you have any further questions on that, Paolo? Paula, well, you can unmute yourself if you need to speak. It is only an idea that you cannot find the peace. You can allow that idea, or you can allow the peace. That is your choice. My, my question is as well uh, regarding uh, how if I know that some or part of the things that I had to do had to do with these clearing uh, entities. And uh, the problem is uh, I feel overwhelming. I feel that uh, it's too much. I, every time that I reach a high level, still get some more, still get some more. And I just feel that it's like a, like a, it's like a, a there's no way going out. It's like a circling around. Uh, I see myself just uh, circling around. Yes. So when you do the energy work, invite God in. Invite the divine in. It is the divine that is doing all the work. The energy circling around can be sent through. Allow it to go away. Allow God to come and work and bring it away.
knowing that God is there. Before you begin your energy work or healing work, align yourself with God. Find the peace before every session, before any entity removal or anything. Find your peace. Allow that peace to come forth. Know that God is always with you. And that God is doing all the work, so you do not need to worry. And it shall be taken care of. Do you feel the energy around you now? Um, still, I had so many entities around that I can't. Sometimes uh, there's so many energy, like light energy that come to me, but so many uh, dark energy that are around that I just can't even feel the good energy anymore. It's full of dense energy. Uh, I don't know. It's just, it's not even me healing anyone. It's just me at home receiving these energies. Uh, Okay, I understand. So let us do a little exercise. Right now, start breathing a little slower and deeper. And with every breath, invite in the grace of God. And with every exhale, allow the grace of God to take away those bad feelings. Breathing in the grace. And exhaling, not the grace. Breathing in the light. and breathing out the light. Breathing in the light. And breathing out the light. For when you breathe out the light, everything around you illuminates. Negativity cannot Stay dark in the light. By you allowing the light to flow through you and come forth from you. Illuminates all shadows and hides nothing. How do you feel now? Yeah, a little better. Thank you so much. Yeah. It starts with the peace. Any little bit of peace, express gratitude. Thank you for that little bit of peace. And that gratitude invites more peace. Mm -hmm. Give thanks to all that you have, anything that you have, for that invites the peace and the joy and the grace of God. that returns us to alignment. For that peace is God.
Try this prayer. Naha ia tawa. Ko anoha wa. Let the vibration of that sink into your remembrance. That is the remembrance of receiving the light of God and allowing it to come forth from you. <clears throat> Do you have more questions? you have any more questions, Paula? No, no, thank you so much. Uh, okay. Thank you, it was wonderful, thank you. I feel your heart chakra, mm -hmm. Paula, I do. I feel your heart chakra really just opening and accepting your own, um, your own sovereignty you know, your own power. Um, I think we're afraid sometimes of our own power because we've been led to believe for so long that we don't have any. And so I, I feel, I, I do, I feel you and I feel your power and I, I feel your heart opening to this knowing. So thank you for, thank you for allowing that in. Thank feeling you the so warmth, much. Feeling the warmth in your heart. It's the only confirmation that you need that God is with you. Feeling that peace is the only confirmation you need. Every breath you take is a reminder of that. If you want more of that reminder, breathe deeper and slower. And I want to remind you of the power that you truly have because you and I, have been sort of communicating a little bit over the last few days, although we didn't know each we didn't know each other at all. Yet this morning, I was divinely guided to send you the link for you to be here today because I, for some reason, I could feel your heart needed this. Your heart needed this family, this support, knowing that you're not alone in these feelings, these experiences. All of us have experienced this. Um, this is part of what we're all doing here together is, is navigating through understanding that we're part of all things and that we have to embrace all of these parts of ourselves and to know that there is no darkness because everything is light, but we have to experience it as darkness before we can actually see the beauty of what we are and what we have. And so I just wanted to, I wanted to, um, reiterate with you that you you have to understand that your power is what brought you to me, to here, to today. I didn't do it. You did it with you and your higher self. You followed your own guidance and you came here today. That's how powerful you are. But you didn't even realize how powerful you were by allowing yourself to be guided to be here today. This is just the beginning for you of your heart opening. So I wanna thank you for following your own inner guidance and being here and listening because your heart was speaking and saying, what is it that I need? What answer, what's missing? What do I need? And, and here you are today. So understand that is our power by following our guidance and knowing that, see how divinely guided you were, that you were here today? That's our power. Yes, thank you so much, yeah. You're welcome. And I wanted to, and I think this may actually help you a little bit too. There was a question from JD about how can sound help us? How can sound help us um, achieve our own peace and sovereignty and perhaps you could address that for us. Uh. There are many expressions of God. Mm -hmm. 
Sound is simply a vibration and is one of the emanations of God. If you simply enjoy sound or music, you are enjoying an aspect of God. If you allow it to come forth from you, if that is in your joy, you are emanating God from your heart. You are emanating God from your vocal cords. You are emanating God through your music. You are emanating your joy through the music. God has many names, peace, joy, contentment. When you allow your joy to come forth, to bring it out to the world, don't you feel better? When you allow your joy to come forth, you are in alignment with God. You are righteous. You are your righteous king or queen. How do you feel when you emit these sounds? There are some here, here that speak light language. There are some here that sing. There are some here that sing in light language. There are some here that tone. How do you feel when you do it? Do you feel your joy? Do you feel unstoppable? For you have stopped stopping yourself. You are allowing it to come forth. You are allowing your joy to become. You are allowing yourself to create your joy. You are emanating your joy. All these are names of God. And by doing that, you feel the blessings of God as you allow it to come forth. And when, it, and when you hear these things from somebody else, when they are living their joy, doesn't that make you smile, you feeling their joy? <clears throat> Some call it raising the vibration. Some call it expressing their joy. It is simply God becoming. That is the living God. Does that answer your question? Yes, and could you also address um, in the same note how it could affect um, negatively as well as that was also part of the question was how may it po how may it affect us positively and negatively if it brings forth your joy how can it affect you negatively negativity is simply a choice let me explain. Remember that God created everything. And God only created light and love, which are the same thing. God allowed free will to happen. So when darkness first made a choice to become, God honored the light that chose to be darkness, honored their free will. And the darkness is. And darkness is a part of the all. Just like darkness chose 
with intention and free will. You too can choose. Your alignment. You can choose what you receive. The idea that negativity or darkness and how it can influence you is simply an idea. You do not have to choose it. You do not have to allow it. Several questions you can ask yourself. Does it bring me joy? Does it bring me peace? Does it make me feel good? Does it bring others peace? Does it bring others joy? You do not have to choose anything that you do not resonate with. That is your sovereignty. If you wish to experience the negativity, it is simply the light experiencing something else, expressing their free will. You do not have to align with it. By returning to the breath and the ease, your truth shall set you free. So I, no we, Melchizedek, invite you to invite in your peace and your joy and to allow it to come forth from your heart in whichever way manifests in the most joy and the most peace for you. Does that answer your question? Yes, of course. Thank you. Thank you very much. I know that we are all capable of everything. And as humans, we're still remembering that. So thank you very much for reminding us of our capabilities and our power. And really, the answer is always the same. And it's simple that really what resonates with your heart is always going to be the right answer. And I think spreading that message makes us all true angels. Um, uh, I, I do thank you so much for being here. Um, we're, we're heading into our last, uh, last 30 minutes here into the broadcast. And so I, I wanted to see if you had any uh, closing remarks for us and if there was anyone else that wanted to come through and speak today um, and send my own divine blessings and thank you for the information and the warmth and energy you've brought to us today. Peace be with you. Allow the peace of God to be with you. Peace be with you.
Anahia ha awahaya ha niya. Peace be with you. I am Ethos. Welcome, Ethos. And I am of the white Agatha, of the white light, of the white ray. And I also have served on the Lemurian High Council. <clears throat> and in our High Council, there are 12. <coughs> 12 reflections, 12 emanations. 12 emanations of EA. Which in your language we would call the fountain of life. This fountain of life is the white light. This fountain of life is the abundance of grace and all the virtues of God, <coughs> of source, of energy, of benevolence. We did not necessarily use the term God, We use many, many, many other names. <coughs> we use principles of prudence, temperance, non attachment, non judgmentalness. My name means non-judgmental. My name means love. When we were created, the fiery ones came down and breathed life into us. The white light, the white ray, carries the intention of experience. Carries the intention of experiencing all aspects of God, of the white ray. You can imagine this fountain of life sitting in the center of the room akin to a very large crystal that is separating the white light into many, many colors, many vibrations. And these vibrations carried the intent of separation. along with the intent of after the separation to achieve reunification. And what we experienced when we evolved more and evolved more and attained more of a physical form the way the Lemurians communicated with each other was with that principle of reunification, unity, 
and community. When we communicated with one another, we were sending them energy and they were receiving the energy. We allowed the flow from the fountain of life to come through us and to all the people we are communicating with. And when they are connected to the fountain of life and allowing it to come through them, that is how we created abundance. There was more light and more love and more energy than we could use. That abundance of being connected to the fountain of life is like one plus one equals three. There is more energy that we created it and allowed to come through us. For when we send it to others, that is the abundance. And we stored this just not this English, the extra energy. The abundant energy was stored in crystals. The abundant energy was stored in the planet. And then later, we stored information in those crystals. Some of them are individual creations. Some of them are records from our lives. Some contain knowledge of science or healing, keys to biology, keys to the energy of, of the universe. But what we felt was important was our alignment with the fountain of life and allowing it to come forth through us. And although we were individual expressions of that light, we look for commonalities, harmonies, convergence on ideas, as well as expansion of ideas. allowing expansion through us is the intent of the white and back with convergence to the one. And expansion can be simply viewed as, hey, I've got an idea. And convergence can be viewed as, hey, that's a really good idea. Let's do something about it. And then the two cooperate. They harmonize. They converge on the idea. They expand on the idea. What if we do this? What if we do that? And then others hear or feel that vibration. And they say, yes. May I contribute? And they allow the flow from the fountain of life to come forth with new ideas and more expansion 
of that idea. And at the same time, we have expansion and convergence. We have separation and we have unity. And there were times that someone who had an idea that did not resonate with the idea of the group. The way we resonated, there was still an offering of an invitation of convergence. And it was up to them to choose whether to converge or expand elsewhere. Do you have any questions? I don't have I don't have any questions at the moment. Is there anyone um, that uh, has any questions at this moment? I just have to say, I'd like to make a comment that there's just a lot of very loving energy. Um, yeah, oh, Tessa, I, um, oh, there is a question perhaps. Um, well, I would like to make a comment, first of all, that when you very first started speaking, I felt a very uh, warming, loving sensation. It was very overpowering, come over me. And I was immediately guided to reach for my Lemurian crystal. And... So, and then when you began speaking about the information that's held in the crystal, I became actually, my, my frequency literally started vibrating faster and higher. And so thank you for sharing that information um, and confirming that with all of us. I, I feel it deeply as I hold my crystal. Um, there is a question that if, uh, if you could... Uh, share with us um, by Jess. Um, can you please elaborate on what happened to the rose crystal skull? It was stolen and shattered, but I'd love to know more about what occurred and if there's still power in its pieces. The energies of the skull are there. They exist. Whether the skull is experiencing separation or whether the skull is experiencing unity, the energy of the skull is, the intention of the skull is, Everything is separate and together, unified at the same time. The information in one piece of the skull is the information in the entire skull. Each piece still remembers its connection to the whole, just as you remember your connection to the whole. Just as you cannot be separated from the whole, that piece cannot be separated from the whole of that skull. It's experiencing a different configuration. Just like when you move your house, you move your home, or when you rearrange your furniture, it is experiencing a different configuration. And when you sit in your new chair or your new place of the same old chair, you are experiencing different viewpoints. But your couch is still your couch. Your home is still your home.
Does that answer the question? Yes, I believe so, because it still reiterates that everything is an example of the whole and that everything we all carry, we all carry a piece of the whole thing that we're all a part of, which in it, whether it's crystals or whether it's God um, source, we all carry a piece of that. So I completely, uh, I completely understand that. Um, there, there, there is a question about um, and the, the question actually reads, what is the name of the crystal of light? What is your name? <sighs> Hanianehi is one of the names of the crystal of light. which roughly translates to the grace of life. Well, that's beautiful. And what is in the name? Yes, for I understand that whatever name it is that we choose, it still holds all of us. It still holds everything. It holds all that we are, regardless of what label we put on it. Uh, there is a question um, from David Toretto. Uh, he said, so interesting. I visited a crystal skull and was wondering what happened when I sat with it for half an hour. You shared vibration. You did what, as we did in Lemuria. Did you sit in respect? Did you sit in allowance with this crystal? Did you allow its vibration to come to you and to flow through you? Did you allow your vibration to flow from you to it. Did you sit with it in peace? If you sat with it in peace, then you were allowing the flow from the fountain of life. So you were experiencing convergence and expansion. Information was transferred is one way to say it. You're sharing life experiences. There's another way to say it. Some call it downloading information. But it's a two-way street. You are downloading information to it as well. So I have a question. I have my Lemurian crystal in my hand, and I have a representation of a crystal skull in my hand, which is made of purple jade. So I think I already know my answer, but it, so in, if my intentions are, are clear and pure and strong enough, is it, is it then, okay, my question is twofold. May I, is it then, can I transfer the energy from the Lemurian crystal to my crystal skull? I'm not even sure why I would want to do that, but I'm just guided to ask the question. And I believe the answer would be yes. But, and then uh, by doing so, um, how do we benefit from, from that transference of energy from one, say, entity or object to another? Um, I feel as if somehow these Lemurian crystals are feeding the crystal skulls. Like I've got one of each in my hand and um, 
I'm feeling a very powerful transference of energy. And so I, it prompted the question. I hadn't even thought of the question until I was holding them in hand. And so I'm also wondering about the question of the, the crystal skulls in general. And when we hold these small or say representations of these, what's actually happening? Are we actually having a transference of information when we're holding a representation of a crystal skull to the actual skulls themselves? And then what, what, what is the result of that, uh, that energy, that, that connection, if you will? So each crystal, just like each entity is experiencing their own experience. They are vibrating the way they are vibrating. And there are vibrations that harmonize easily and there are vibrations that do not interact with each other. Lemurian crystals offer vibrations that offer harmonizing frequencies to anything and everything, which makes it easier for the other crystals to harmonize and transfer information. Exchange information. Share is a better word. Because there is no loss of information. It is either harmonized or it's not harmonized. It is received or not received. Just when, imagine a math teacher When the math teacher teaches the students, think of them as children, teaching them about arithmetic. When the teacher finishes the lesson, did that teacher lose that information? They shared the information. And it's up to each student to decide whether they got the lesson or not or got the information. So yes, they are sharing information that will only share compatible information. And your intention put into the crystals, you do not have to concentrate hard on your intention. We suggest To be easy on your intentions. Just like the others who have spoke today, the ease, the peace. Be peaceful with your intentions. Be easy. Keep it simple. And know that those crystals will receive that intention. For with your intention, when it is peaceful, you are connected to the fountain of life. You are connected to that flow of benevolence. And that aids in all communication and intention. That is what the Lemurians do. which aids in harmonizing of ideas, convergence, and expansion. Does that answer your question? Yes, I believe that it does. I, I, understand, I understand what you're saying. I do. I understand what you're saying. Are there any questions in the room, we are getting too close to the top of the hour. I do have one more question in the chat from YouTube. I wanted to see if there was any 
questions or anything? I would anything like to have a question as well. Oh, Hello? okay. Hello? Oh, yeah, go ahead. Yeah, uh, uh, working as well with crystals, uh, I use this, uh, I, I charge them and I use it as to help me uh, during the night to hide light my vibration so I can uh, get more entities out of me uh, and I was uh, I was going to ask is I didn't know uh, I normally don't say that they're Lemurians I thought they were from Atlantis uh, but uh, are there difference between the Atlantis crystal and the Lemurian crystal and um, the difference in the crystals are difference, differences in points of creation as to when they created. The crystals, just like you, set their intention to incarnate. They have an original intention, just as you do. They have a mission, as some have called it. They are a vibration. They're a vibration from the oversoul. They're a vibration from heaven. And when they choose to crystallize with the energies of the planet, all crystals and all the physical forms cannot be separated from the planet. All of your atoms and all of their atoms come from the planet, which come from the stars, which come from creation. And when you take your crystals, you mentioned clearing your crystals. I suggest gathering your crystals, just like you gather your friends and hold them in your hands and hold them close to your heart. And allow the peace and the love to come through your heart and into the crystals and your loving nature to come through. And just as you are not judged Do not judge your crystals. That is enough. Your loving nature is enough to clear the crystals. You can say whatever words you want to say. Your heart contains the vibration. I express gratitude while clearing my crystals. I express love, I express peace. Notice the word express. I'm allowing the fountain of life to emanate through me, to become through me, and allow it to emanate into and through the crystals in a vibration that is so loving that their true nature recognizes it. Thus, clearing it, just like the peace clears you. And when we allow, and when we clear the crystals, when we clear anything, when we clear the water, when we clear the air, when we clear the earth, we are allowing it to come forth from our heart with the benevolence, righteousness, and love. Nothing negative can withstand the purity of love. It simply falls away and its true nature shines through.
Yeah, Laquilla, thank you. I have a question. Yes, there's a question in the room. Yes, please, thank you, go ahead. A number of years back, I went to a place that had a crystal skull. Um, I was able to be in its presence. Um, I was about 20 feet away and I could already feel its vibration. I went in and I resonated with that vibration, but my question is, is the vibration or the information received from a skull, if there are multiple people, is there individual information or messages or information received differently or does everyone receive the same information vibrationally? Everyone carries their own vibration. <clears throat> and everyone has their own harmonic frequencies built in in their vibration. And as the crystal vibrates, it offers many harmonizing frequencies. So each individual will find different harmonizing points for the information. Know that your harmonization, your frequency is valid. It's aligned with your true nature and therefore you will receive the information that is relevant to you, that is harmonized with you. Does that make sense? Yes. And whether or not it is harmonized with anyone else does not matter. They will get what they need. There are so many vibrations around all of us at all times. We can choose to be inundated by them or we can choose to harmonize with what we are. And by the way, you are a we. The I, the me is a construct Just imagine every cell in your body, each is its own consciousness, cooperating and harmonizing with you in your true identity. And every cell in your body has many consciousnesses in it. You are the we. Does that make sense? Yes. Thank you for that reminder. We are getting close to the top of the hour here, and there are just a couple more questions. I wanted to see if you would like to take them, or um, did you need to take your leave? One more question, and then I would like to leave you with a blessing. Okay, thank you. Um, there's a question from a viewer about information received about uh, whether or not from David Toretto, whether or not to go to Portugal. as he's being guided there and was wondering if you had any insight for him on that. Sit in the peace with that. And when you think about it, will it bring you joy? There are no have tos. There is value in you going. There is value in your staying. It came into your, your awareness for a reason. 
resonate with it. Allow the harmony of that idea and resonate with it. If you are feeling peace with it, that is a choice for you. If you are not feeling peace with it, it is still a choice for you. You decide where you wish to experience your reality. Do you wish to experience your reality in the peace, in the eye of the vortex, in the eye of the hurricane? Or do you wish to experience your reality on the edge of the hurricane? Or do you wish to experience your reality in the midst of the hurricane with the high winds? And the houses hitting you. You can always find your way back to the eye, the eye of the hurricane, where it's peaceful, the eye of the vortex, which is alignment with who you are. simply by breathing and allowing that peace to come in. You will find your way back instantaneously. But that's where you are connected to the fountain of life. Allow your joy to come forth. Allow your joy to become. Allow your joy to live. So I would like to leave you with a blessing. Wehe anawaha. Your way is easy. Nahawiya your way is joy. Nahai sawa, nahi ahua. The way of not your way is not your way. Kohohoa nawiyaha. Allow your joy. May peace and joy be with you. Nahayu nahyu so asha. May peace and joy be with you as well. And thank you for these wonderful messages today to all of you. Niwa okwaba soto shabi a unania a tahena sate. We are in divine grace and gratitude. Nia una maliato. Io kuna na uhai hi sana ich chikuwa na hasa sa si hi ich chikuwa so ko shikuwa yasa. Thank you for all the messages. Nihi kuna na aria tataka shikuwa yasa sa sa. I thank you for allowing them to come through. No utato ko shikuwa yasa so ko na na wari yasa sa sa. It has been my highest bliss to share. No ho na ich chikuwa sa sa na ich chikuwa yasa sa. Hishishwai <laughs> 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 Water is life, my friends. No, 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 no. I know. I'm like I. I need to. I need to re. I need to take some in and get rid of some. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank you, Will. Wow, what a beautiful energy. Everyone just 
it's been a such an exciting day everyone just great uh, great questions everyone and great energy great uh comments from youtube land out there thank you all of you so much for being here thank you will that was intense i'm like i'm literally just <laughs> just vibrating I, I can't wait to hear about it <laughs> <laughs> yes it was really really great thank you all for your energy your love your questions um mark for your help um i wanted to uh, offer first before we close up um how about if we do let's see let's let's uh should we do announcements or blessings first uh final announcements or blessings first um uh nieto say Pardon me? Announcements. Okay, yeah, that's what I thought. We'll close it. We'll close it with beautiful blessings. So I just wanted to remind everybody once again about um, checking out uh, hukalo.org for the Reiki class tonight, for the workshops. Um, contact Will uh, at uh, Reiki with. <laughs> Sorry, Will. <laughs> Will. I had all these things going on at one time in my head. <laughs> <laughs> Reiki with will at gmail.com or languages of lights at gmail.com. Both will and I both do um, private sessions of, of various <laughs> different things. And so um, if there's any way that uh, we can be of assistance to you, please do reach out, out to all of us and of course to Jim. Um, and uh, what else are we leaving out? Don't forget about the book, you guys. Oh, and I wanted to mention too, not only is it available on um, uh, in paperback, but it's also available on Amazon, um, both on Amazon uh, for Kindle as well. So you can get it in both formats. So if you don't, you, you know, if you don't want to buy the book itself, um, so keep an eye. Oh, and for our classes, our angel class coming up and um, I'm very excited about this. It's, it's a whole new, it's a whole new expression of, energy and joy uh for all of us and for for will and i and we're just following our divine guidance and that really is the biggest message i think for all of us here today follow your divine guidance i think you know we we love asking for the validation from these these higher dimensional energies because that's what they're here for to help guide us but the guidance is to show us we already have we got the compass already. We have the guidance system already in place within us and um, we need to follow that. So um, if you're followed to join, you know, start a meetup, join hookalo.org, join hookalo.org, become, a, become a, a member so that you can ask questions right in the room. Um, I also wanted to, uh, there was something else I wanted to mention about that. Um, uh, of course, about supporting the channel as well. Um, if you're, oh, if you're got, you know, if you're guided to go to a place, if you're guided to go to one of these workshops, if you're guided, it's because you're, you've, your higher self, your heart has been asking for something and you've been brought here much like Paula today. You know, you're, you, you have to understand how powerful you already are because you're already the one in many levels driving the train here. So we're just reminded of that. A guide will always guide you back to your, your inner self, your own knowing. And so we, we want that validation and those confirmations. But, but when you're getting the, the urge, the need, the drive, the idea to do something, you cannot experience something you're not already the vibration of. So um, listen, just listen to your heart. And all the messages that we received today from Will and 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 the energies and the angels and and it, all of it is about the same thing it's about following your heart and believing in yourself and opening opening up to that and realizing you're the one in control you're in the power and you get to decide your experience you create your own reality by your vibrate vibrate your vibration and your thoughts nialukoya so thank you all. And I wanted to open the floor now to um, any closing light language blessings. Um, did you want to go first or last, Will? <laughs> uh, let's clean up. <laughs> <laughs> okay, anybody, would anybody like to go ahead and do a blessing right now? You can either just unmute or type in the box. <laughs> I will, of course, love to of make course. one Of course. Thank you, JD. Hi, thank you. <laughs> so and thank you. Like, mm, oh, that was it. 
I'm so sorry to mean to interrupt you. I wanted to remember, JD, you reminded me. JD, thank you for being such a gracious host for the Human Colony webinars. And I wanted to remind you guys that too. Please get with Max at humancolony.org. If any of you are interested in doing this, do you want to host? Do you are you interested in doing the tech like Mark does, getting it started for us, you know, helping out on the back scene? Um, I just wanted to throw that out there. We're always looking for people who are interested in doing this and volunteers. We all work on a volunteer basis. We love, we just it's it's our love. And so if you want to help support the channel in that way. If you can support it that way and want to help and volunteer, if this sort of thing excites you to to be a part of the webinars and host or in any way possible, I just that was the other thing I wanted to throw out there. So I, I actually I think Max is going to start paying people twenty five dollars to to host. Oh, great! So that would be great too. So there you go. There's a little financial incentive for all of but you I, that. I don't know when that's starting, I, but I heard him talk about it. Well, one of the things this this is what I wanted to reiterate, and thank you for mentioning that, Jim, is because when we when we are when we support the channel with the ten dollars a month, that helps be able to support others being able to you know come and do this and and share their time and energy, and it helps compensate people. So I mean, we do it for the love of it, but but yeah, you know if it if it helps you um, in doing that, then that yeah that's that's great. So by by. Uh, supporting the channel, we can support help other hosts and the techs and everybody else in the channel. So thank you for bringing it up, Jim. You're welcome. And I'm so thankful for having the opportunity to help my beautiful friends and family. So I'm it was so wonderful. Grateful. So thank you, JD. Go right ahead with your blessing. Okay. Shuka sanaki tamaya kuska murakiana skiamana kiana kataya kiskiawaskiawana. Kiawa raya kaskataya hi kasanayawa kaskua. Mia sawa haia kasananaki. Moa karia wasana. Hiana naya wi. Sia kaskia taki. Naya maha iya ni iya kuska maha. Hiara na kaskataha iya. Namaste. The light is part of every one of us. Whether we choose to live in it or not is our choice. And if we choose to live in it, the joy is greater, at least inside the heart and inside the knowing and the understanding of what the light is. Let your heart be alive with love, light, understanding, for it is the will of God that you understand he is your creative entity. He is your creative uh, beginning. Thank you, JD. Okay. Thank you, Jim. Angela wants to do one. Oh, please go right ahead, Angela. Let joy be your example. Let light be also on your face so that you may shine out to the world those things that are necessary. Let them become part of your energy so that they would want to be near you and want to gain the experience of love, light, and joy in a way that they've never had it before. Keep yourself alive with the love of God and the joy thereof. Yeah, thank you, thank you, Angie. Thank you, Jim. Thank Anybody you. else, anyone else wanna give a blessing before we? Say good day. Say good day. Okay, I'm looking. I'm just looking. Okay. Yes. I just wanted to say thank you so much. I feel so much happier. Oh. And I want to share something with you. Thank you, Angela. 
Kata. Much love to you all. The joy of the Lord is with us all today and it excites us beyond what we can actually know in this realm. When we feel the excitement of God, we know that he is with us and that there is hope for all things. All futures are possible and all things will be done in his name and credit given, ascension happen and light shed. <clears throat> That was beautiful. Thank you. Thank you, Paul. And I'm so happy that you were here today. Yes. We are sending light from the ends of the universe to you, for we see your hope and your dreams. We see your destiny. We love you and we are supporting all the things that you are doing. Shine on and we will someday hold your hand in grateful communication and community. Thank you, Jim. Shine on. Shine on. Shine on. Okay, well, if there's, if, say, if there's no one else, we can have Will close it out with his final blessing. And thank you once again, Will. It has been a great honor and pleasure today. Kolasso. Soto tukura tarisi, shai yaka nani yata oho koha. Nichiaka nana achechoko uho kosha, Yaya kanana ariata orohotor shaka, Nisoko una noasha shishi, Yaya nana arda tukuha. The spirit falls all around us, and we can absorb the joy and understanding of God as He gives us a great opportunities to understand Him even more. Love yourself and love him through yourself and let your soul sing of his great creativity and uniqueness for yourself. For he is there to bring you into your journey in a way that he's destined for you. But remember, his words are the truth and they will guide you as well as his light and his joy. What beautiful blessings today. Thank you all. No olo kosata she, Lakina. Just kept coming. <laughs> <laughs> it's a never ending flow. I know, you know, and you know, Will and I, we could do that forever. So. Alukusa, I thank you all. I hope you join us every Saturday for the webinar. And remember that all the webinars are free unless Jim's channeling to help support the channel and that you can be in the room with us. So um, see, uh, check out the human uh, .org website um, for all of the information that we've shared today and to become a member that you can also be in the room when Jim's channeling. But otherwise, uh, keep an eye out on the humancolony.org website and the Facebook page. Um, for all of the other Saturday webinar free uh, participation links. Thank you all once again for being here. Your, your energy and love is beyond measure. And thank you, Mark, for helping out today and Will, all of you. Much love. Mahala and namaste. Bye. Bye. Thanks Let's for coming, go. everybody. <laughs>